Chris Woodruff here, Paddles by the Sea. Welcome to our YouTube channel. Today is a windy day. We're gonna take that opportunity to get on the water and show you the conditions, show you the different wind directions and what you can do to read those conditions so you know where to be and how you can be safe on the water. Hope you enjoy it. All right, here we are on the water. Uh, we are cruising downwind, luckily, it's kind of nice. Um, I'm not paddling at all, and I am just moving right on down this canal here. Um, and that kind of shows the power of the wind and, and kind of why we want to keep an eye on the wind direction and things like that in our surroundings. Knowing that I am not paddling at all, and I am moving right on down this river, when I go to come back into this river, or up this canal to where I started, it's gonna be a lot harder than right now. Cause obviously I'm not doing anything. I am totally just chilling out, letting the wind take me right where I wanna go. And that's what you gotta really remember and why we're gonna kinda of have this tutorial today is keeping an eye on the wind and how to use it to your advantage and what you can do to keep an eye on it just to be safe out on the water. And there's a lot of little tips and tricks we can do how to read the wind where you should be and we'll go over all that stuff right now let's go check it out and here we are on the river we have kind of a north breeze today so it's going to be coming kind of across to us and that's one of the things i wanted to show is we actually get this like little bit of chop and we're actually in a really protected area right here and it's it's fairly choppy um, for a beginner it can be a little tough i'm actually seeing some white caps over there uh, might be hard to pick up, but it is definitely windy and it's pushing me all over the place. So a good thing to keep an eye on when you're out here like this is these white caps and the direction of this swell. Um, you really want to keep an eye on which way the swell is moving and that'll give you an idea of which way the, the wind is moving. So since we're out here on a windy day, we're actually going to aim for that uh, smooth spot over there. I always look for those little glassy spots. Here we are on the other side of the island and we have a complete wind block. The island has been nice enough to completely guard me from the wind. Always use natural landmarks whenever possible to protect yourself from the wind. I actually plan my tour groups, my guided tour groups around this. Always upwind first. If I can, get an island block, come back with the wind. Everybody's happy, everybody sees cool things, everybody has an awesome time. That's what we're trying to do, have an awesome time. So. That's that tip. Always use natural landmarks to protect yourself from the wind. Always go upwind first. Always, always, always. There are a few situations where you don't wanna go upwind first if you're doing a downwinder or things like that. We'll talk about that stuff later. But if you're just out for a casual paddle, go upwind first. You're really gonna thank yourself later for it. It's much better. Go upwind first, wear yourself out, and get a nice easy push back. It just makes life a lot easier. Uh, and now there are some situations that you're not going to want to do that if you have a specific destination, if you're near a tidal area, um, that you know the water tide is going to be shifting. Those are all things to keep into account. Uh, so you really want to keep an eye on that. I really look at tide. We're lucky in this area. We usually get a wind tide. So the tide is usually going the direction of the wind. So I don't have to worry about it a ton here. But if we were near an inlet, um, or some sort of body of water that is moving and shifting on its own schedule, be mindful of that also. And maybe um, time your times around a slack tide in between high and low tide. Um, there, there's that golden window of um, a slack tide where it's calm. Uh, so keep that in mind and um, off to the next spot. Let's do a really great job of indicating which way the wind is going. Generally, they're gonna be pointed into the wind. Um, not always with sailboats. Sometimes the current's gonna move them around, but they usually have a weather vane up top so you can keep an eye on that. Uh, but trees are great. They're always gonna be swaying with the wind and flags over like at our power squadron. 
they're really great too. They're always gonna indicate which way the wind is going. I also like to keep an eye on this before I even get to where I'm gonna launch from. I kind of like to have a float plan or an idea where I'm gonna go on my way there at the least. Uh, so as I'm driving, I'm looking at trees, how my car is driving, things like that. I'm already kind of thinking and calculating where I kind of want to be to help protect myself from the wind. Our next tip is how to be on the board in a windy day. If the wind is taking you somewhere you don't want to go and you're not making any progress, sit down. It is our go-to safety position. When you're standing, you're kind of like a little sailboat. It's going to push and pull you all over the place. When you're sitting or kneeling, and you can sit on it just like a kayak. You can sit like how I'm sitting now. You can stand, you can sit, you can kneel. It's kind of one of my favorite parts of a paddleboard. You have options. So if you're not making any headway and you're not going where you want to go, sit down. You'll definitely get the power to move and you'll cut your wind profile and you should start making some headway. Our next tip is safety equipment, particularly our leash. You really want to wear this all the time particularly on a windy day. On a windy day, if you fall off, the wind's gonna take that board away from you and you're gonna have a very hard time catching it. If you have your leash on, it's no problem, no big deal. Grab your board, get right back on it. The rest of the day is still awesome and fun. Uh, but if you're swimming after it, a lot of times I don't care if you're Michael Phelps, you're not catching that thing. Particularly on a day like we just saw, it's just not worth it. Wear the leash. Our next one is a life vest. You should always, always have the life vest with you. If you're 13 or under, you have to wear it. But if you're not comfortable swimming or if it's rough conditions, you should be wearing it anyways. Um, but at the minimum, you have to have it with you. Florida considers paddleboarders and kayaks under the same laws as boats, and they have that same requirement that they have to have a life vest per person and 13 or under has to wear it. So your pets also have to wear one of these, just like your children, Florida puts your children and your pets in the same category as far as water safety. So if you bring your pet with you, they must also wear a life vest, just like your child 13 or under. I feel like I missed two very important parts while out on the water. First, if it's beyond your level or if you feel like it's beyond your skill level, don't go. It's not worth it. If, it's, if you're a beginner and it's windy, just don't go. Don't have that bad moment that makes you never want to go paddle again. It's not worth it. Don't do it. Enjoy what you do. Have fun. Have an awesome and fun time. Don't worry about having to go that weekend. There'll be other weekends. If it's beyond your level, don't go. The next one is the buddy system. And I know this one's a little trickier, but you really always should have a buddy with you on the water. Somebody to watch your back, somebody to look out for you, and you to look out for them. It's so much better and safer. And you get to share the moment with somebody. It's just better. If you saw some cool, amazing Loch Ness monster, nobody's got your back to tell you to back up your story. So bring a buddy. It's safer. You got somebody to back up your cool stories. Bring a friend. And that's it. So I hope you guys liked our video. Um, like and subscribe if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have a suggestion of a future topic or any kind of suggestion really at all. Keep it nice though. And uh, we'll see you guys on the water next time. So after our next tip, why do I do that? I don't know why I do that. Hey, here, no, that's fine.